Hello, welcome to another video that it's uh, gonna deal with through the resolution. In uh, computer graphics a raster image, it's a data structure representing a general regular grid of pixels. You can view that on a monitor, you can view that on paper or uh, any other display medium. In Photoshop we deal uh, with uh, raster image. Raster images are stored in image files with varying formats. Raster graphics are uh, resolution dependent. They cannot scale arbitrarily without uh, the loss of apparent quality. This contrasts with the capabilities of vector graphics, which can easily scale to the quality of the device rendering them. Raster graphics deal more practically than vector with photographs and photorealistic images where a lot of colors uh, appear, while vector graphics often serve better for typesetting or uh, graphic design where a smaller amount of colors are going to be used. A raster image is composed from pixels where a pixel it's the smallest rectangular area of an image, either on screen or uh, in stored memory. The term resolution is overused uh, as a pixel count in digital imaging. There are some ways of defining that. It can be used, for example, as a set of two positive uh, numbers where the first number is the number of pixel columns, so it's the width of the image, and the second is the number of pixel rows, so it's the height of the image. It can be used to say the actual resolution as the total numbers of pixels in the image. Typically, that uh, given number is uh, in megapixels. Other conventions uh, include describing pixel per length unit or pixel per area unit, such as pixel per inch or pixel per square centimeter. This last one can be called space resolution. A definition for space uh, resolution would sound like this. Spatial resolution refers to the number of independent pixel values per unit length. In Photoshop, we have the image size screen to work with the dimension of the image. Let's open an image on Photoshop. And uh, to be more clearly and to see better what we are doing, we are going to check also with print preview. So right now, my image is a lot bigger than uh, A4. Yeah, we got an A4 paper. So let's say cancel. Let's duplicate the image so we're gonna keep the original for comparing. And let's go into image size. You can press Command Alt I. On Windows, a quick way to do this is that uh, you can press Alt and uh, double I. So you can press Alt I I. First of all, let's uh, cut out the resample image so we can understand better the document size. If we change the resolution number and we put a higher number the image is going to sh to shrink so with 72 we have 30 inches and with uh, 300 we have only seven oh let's see that you're not going going to see a change on the screen but if you go printing you can go command p now the image it fits on my page. This one, it's a lot bigger. This is because in the same 
square inch we have a lot more peaks click undo okay put a smaller amount the image is going to get bigger the same thing works the other way too uh, if we increase the number of the width or the height the resolution is going to change so if we put a smaller amount of inches the resolution is gonna get bigger because we have to fit more pixels in the same uh, inch square so let's put let's say 10 so the resolution got bigger if we put a bigger number the resolution will get smaller because we enlarge the whole pixel dimensions so let's put 70 now we have three okay let's reset that pressing alt the cancel button is gonna change into reset so the actual first numbers are going to come back so let's put also the resample image back now we can work also on the pixel width and height resampling means that uh, digital interpolation is gonna happen in photoshop first let's change the value for resolution putting a higher number does not change anymore the width and the height in inches because we have the resample image turn on is gonna put more or less pixels let's say that we put here 300 so there are going to be a lot more pixels in the image the actual size didn't change let's click ok and see how that would look in a print well now you see a change the image got a lot bigger and when you print it's the same dimension as the first one but now in uh, let's imagine that here it's an inch square but now in this inch square we have 300 pixels and in the original image we had 72 another way is to change the document size width and height if we are going to a bigger size like that now also when you click ok it's going to get bigger and now when you go to print the image it's a lot bigger let's hit undo so when you type a bigger image the resolution stays the same but because of the resampling there are going to be more pixels in the image if we grow the numbers of the pixels photoshop it's assuming that we want to keep the resolution number so the same number is going to stay here but let's put here like this but bigger width and bigger height in inches are going to get in this is because we have the same amount of pixels in us inch square but we have a lot more pixels so by doing resample image the actual image is gonna get higher okay thank you very much have a nice day